from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. They sing on a sleepless night. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and thanks for tuning in. So last time we had just finished Climbies track and had an incredibly muddy vehicle after getting bogged. Literally mud in every nook and cranny of the Jeep. So we ended up in Strawn after Climbies and then had a very special mission that we wanted to do. Yes, yeah, so we had to get a vehicle perfectly clean to get to a track called Mont Macol that is managed by Parks of Tasmania. And after a deep, deep clean, removing a lot of mud, we finally got the key. So we are very excited to tackle the track tomorrow uh, with our clean Jeep. And it is going to be perfect weather. They only let like three cars a day go on this track. So it's a super, super big privilege for us and uh, keen to show you guys. So found a very nice campsite in the middle of the bush, very close to the beginning of the Mount McCall track. So we'll chill here for the night. Just us, next to a bit of an information booth. And then we will come back here after Mount McCall and we'll do this hike, Bird River Bridge. And that goes to an old mining town on the coast which used to be quite a hustle and bustle and has since fallen into disrepair and now you can only hike to it so apparently it's a really beautiful hike one of the best in tasmania so uh, we'll check that out probably the day after tomorrow All right, so we've begun the Mount McCall track. Uh, so far, obviously, it's super easy. Uh, I would imagine the second half would get a tiny little bit harder. I don't think it's going to be a challenging uh, track at all. At the moment, quite a bit of clouds, so I'm hoping it'll burn off. Uh, it's supposed to because it's meant to be a really nice day today. So we'll just ticky till her along and see how we go.
we've reached the summit of Mont Macol and this is what the view looks like. It's an epic rock formation everywhere. So it's 760 meters high. Hopefully the clouds will burn off and we'll have a better view, but we are surrounded by mountains. It's really cool. <laughs> Crush the hardest part of the Mount McCall track. How'd that feel? Oh, that was pretty full on. <laughs> yeah, it got a little bit steep, eh? Yeah, coffee would be good now. <laughs> the nerves are rattled. Pretty awesome drive. Um, really sad, but a large portion of it's been burnt, looks like quite recently in a bushfire. But yeah, still stunning scenery. It's been cloudy, but it looks like it's finally burning off. It's, what's the time? Must be like around 11 a.m. Took us a few hours, so I was slow going. 10.45. So coffee break, bit of food, and then we'll uh, continue our way back. So Chris is driving the way back, which actually looks much scarier than going down because you can actually see the big rock formation and the big ruts. How did you feel? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit um, harder coming back. It's got less traction because we're going uphill and it's actually, it was, got very steep at the very uh, bottom. Yeah, it's so, really. Yeah, it's actually become more of a forward drive check than we were expecting. And especially because there were like no warnings or anything. So I wouldn't actually want to be in a completely stock forward drive uh, coming back up this. Yeah. Uh, especially, it is pretty wet and if it was any wetter it would be real sketchy trying to get uh, traction coming back up. And uh, the other issue is there can be up to six vehicles on here a day and it's a very narrow track so we're yeah. already probably getting a few Scratch. pinstripes down the side of the car so last thing we'd want to do is in this area run into another vehicle coming the other way um, but yeah so far so good So now we are back at our campsite from last night and we are beginning the Cali Basin return walk. And it's about 2 p.m. so we've got heaps of time. Uh, there used to be a thousand people at a little town at Cali Basin and now apparently there are just ruins amongst 
the mosses and ferns. So it should be pretty cool. We're at the end of the walk, and this is an old 1900s cookhouse that would have serviced all the workers for the copper industry here. That's pretty neat. Remains of the huge old jetty that the rail line used to go right across to the other side, swallowed up by the bush. Remains of the old carriageway building long taken by the swamp. It had the last journey in 1925 when this town started to decline and they dismantled the rest of the buildings. What remains of the old brick kilns pumping out 348,000 bricks per firing. Pretty crazy. Constructed just after 1900. comes another boiler in the jungle. Wow. So the Kelly Basin walk to the old town of East Pillage is really cool. That awesome jungle that follows a river for most of the time. And then it becomes wet, damp, sort of like a swamp. Muddy. And then you actually reach the sea. So it's, it's really cool. And then you get a bit of history at the end. Yeah, it's 15k return. Yep, 15k return as Ange said, and overall really beautiful bushwalk. So if you're in the area, especially if you're going to be doing Mount McCall track, make sure you give enough time uh, for this hike. It'll take you under four hours uh, return to hike it. So the end of the walk was definitely not as nice as we thought it would be. We ended up seeing two tiger snakes, which are venomous snakes. So Chris is the one who spotted them. I'm terrified of snakes. So for me, that was definitely not the great uh, end of the day and the hike. Luckily, we came back safe to the car. We just made sure that we don't walk on them. Uh, we're doing like a lot of noise on the ground. So that was fine. Now we found a pretty cool campsite by Lake Burberry, very nice and peaceful. So we should have a pretty chill night and carry on tomorrow.